Hello and welcome to my review of the Czech Republic DLC for Armour 2. I'm just going to give you an overview of what's included in the DLC and then I will continue with my opinions on the content. So you can pick this up for about £8 in the UK from various online retailers and you need Armour 2 Operation Ahead to run it. So what's included with this bundle? You get three maps um, all of them are copies or edited versions of existing maps and they're fairly cut down and smaller size preferably for uh, close combat situations you also get a whole heap of vehicles um, and units you get armor, you get cars, you get special forces, you get planes, you get helicopters each of them have a woodland camo set and a desert camo set. Also you get a bunch of new weapons. Uh, I think you get about three different rifles with about six different versions of them and each of the guns are nice to look at. All the content is very detailed and nice and the maps appear vibrant and dense and full of rich detail. Now on to my opinions of it. Now the maps um, appear very uh, as I already said they're pretty much clones of existing parts of Chinaras and Takistan. Um, this map that's currently showing is actually a cut out of Chinaras I'm pretty sure but they just edited it to make it look different and they've done a good job of editing. Um, it does look nice, it looks very vibrant and rich of detail. Uh, similarly the Takistan map is the same and there's also the airfield Chinaras map which is kind of like UTs but in Chinaras. Now with vehicles they're all very nice. Um, my favourite is the Dingo, it's an armoured uh, kind of Humvee with a big gun on top and you get a nice selection you get about six different types of cars and about four different types of tanks um, although two of them are BMPs and BDRs which isn't very exciting really uh, also you, as well as the vehicles you get a bunch of um, weapons and stuff as I've already explained and you get um, uh, so helicopters and the airplanes. Now helicopter wise there's two helicopters, there's a Angry Bird aka MI8 and there's a, a Hind and you also get airplanes, there's a two-seater airplane and a one-seater fighter uh, which makes a nice change, they both look nice and this is pretty much the DLC summed up. It's a bunch of new content which looks nice. Um, gameplay wise it's very similar to Armour obviously because it's the same game um, although it, a lot has been optimised to make it faster and run smoother. Um, yeah so I'm not sure what else to add about this. For, I believe there's also a campaign but I haven't bothered playing that yet and I don't intend to. Um, I bought this purely for the multiplayer element because I play online with armor. I never play single player. Um, so I hope this video is useful to you. Um, when I made my decision, my decision to buy this game, there was no review of first impressions. So hopefully you'll find this useful. So 